How you doing? Good. Small one for you there. All right. All Thank right, you. Thanks, man. Have a good day. Yep. So today's an exciting day for me because finally the small rig video mobile cage for the iPhone 13 Pro Max came in. Now, the reason I wanted this cage was because I have Moment lenses and Moment makes a case as well, but it's more expensive if you get just this cage right here. It's only $40. The Moment case, just for the case without the insert, is $50, and then it's $5 for a plastic insert. This right here is built out of aluminum, and it does more than the Moment case can do, uh, especially for the money. So let's go ahead and open it up. It comes uh, in a very simple packaged box. This is it right here. Now it's built extremely well. Uh, they have done a few upgrades from the iPhone 12 Pro version. So you have the ultra wide lens right here and that is going to be open and not uh, obstructed in any way whatsoever. You cannot put a moment lens or, or any type of M-mount lens on there. Then you have the top one up here which is your tele lens and you can attach a moment lens to that. Then you have your regular uh, wide lens right here, which is your main center lens, which is the lens that you should probably want to use for everything. And the whole purpose uh, is to kind of get these moment lenses is to utilize that bigger sensor. It also has IBIS in it, and it's just way better than the other two lenses that the iPhone come with. So one of the other big improvements that they have made is uh, in the previous versions, people could not actually get to the selector for silent and ringer right here. They've cut this out and now you can actually get access to it. It does have a nice rubber gasket that goes around it that pads the iPhone when you put it in there. It appears to be possibly user replaceable if something did go wrong with it. So to, uh, to, to put this on, all you're gonna do is you just hit a button right here, open this up. You're gonna take your iPhone and this is an iPhone 13 Pro Max, uh, one terabyte and this is the, the blue, I forget the actual name of it. Uh, and you're just going to slide it. It does have a screen protector on, so it will work with a screen protector. You're just going to slide it right down in there. It slides down nice and easy. You're going to put the cage over, lock it into place, and there you go. It does have really nice buttons on the side here. And you can see this or not. So you have a very tactile feeling. We can hear this or not. Uh, really tactile but, uh, feeling buttons that turn it on and off. Same with the volume up and down buttons, if you can hear that or not. And to get to the, let's unlock it here, to get to the on and off for the ringer, you can put your finger in there, I'm trying to do this where I can show you where it doesn't focus on me. You can put your finger in there and you can actually get to it. So it's on and it's off. So I'll show you on this, this way. So you can put your finger in there and you can actually get to it. And that rubber gasket, is uh, right there. So that's the only place that I may be concerned about uh, having wear and tear is again that, uh, I don't know what my phone's doing here, that rubber gasket uh, right there could possibly uh, get ripped or damaged uh, because now that they have uh, made this cut out so you can actually get to the volume on and off. Additionally, so this was $40, and additionally I got the hand handle that comes with it, and this is actually it's very nice. So this comes, uh, basically you have two Allen keys in there, and it locks it into place, and you can slide it up or down however you want it. And then also on the edge right here, it's got two little detents. I don't know if you see that or not. It's going to focus on that, but it's got two detents when you put it on your cage. It locks it into place and it keeps it from rotating so you can't so it won't rotate so you have a cold shoe on the top you have a cold shoe on the side there's three uh, quarter 20s on the top here there's two on the top and bottom and on the actually this is the side and on the other side there's also three quarter 20s so the beautiful thing about this is you can use other accessories on it now in the past when I'd wanted to hook up a microphone to this you had to do something, for example, I took this Tech 21 cage right here and I got one of these plastic cold shoes. It's like a sticky cold shoe and I stuck it there. And so I would have the phone right here and then I would take the uh, mic. I use the Wireless Go 2 mics. 
and I would take the receiver right here and I would put the receiver in just like that and then plug this in. This is the SC15 cable which works with the, uh, it's got the lightning on one side and then it's got the USB-C on the other and it works with these road and it's got a, a diode in here or some type of resistor. See that thick spot right there. So when you plug it into your iPhone, it records, but then when you go to play back, it actually plays out of your iPhone speakers. It doesn't think that you have a headphone hooked up to it. And additionally, this also takes away the use for, or the need to have a dongle, uh, an adapter from Lightning to 3.5, and then have a TRS to TRS, and all that, it takes all that out, out, of, out of the play, out of the mix. So now, with this right here, you can simply slide on, this is the receiver unit for the wireless go. You can just slide it on just like this. And then simply plug it in to the iPhone. And you could put this grip on either side and you can put this grip easily if I wanted to go below with it. I could go below with it so that way I don't have to hold it as high. I can get this thing started, there we go. So I can hold it like that. Uh, it doesn't really get in the way here, I mean, it just kind of slides out of the way. You could actually put this around just like that. And then what you do is you can take the receivers, again, this is the Wireless Go 2, it has two modules. And if you want, you can take one of these, turn it on, and be facing away from you, so if, if you're filming away from you. And then the other one you can take and put on you, just like this. So now, you are filming what's in front of you and you have audio and you can also hear what you're saying because when you, if it was just facing you and you turn it away from you, you're going to lose the mic. You can also take something, for example, if you did want just a uh, simple alternative, a cheaper alternative, you can take a little Rode Video Micro and just put it right here in the cold shoe and lock it into place just like that the SC15 cable won't work with this however the SC15 cable will work with the uh, video mic NTG which is what is on my a7 III uh, it's actually on top of my Ninja 5 but uh, I'm talking to you right now on the video mic NTG so the NTG has USB or 3.5 so you can put in that SC15 cable, put it on your iPhone, and plug it straight into your iPhone. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the different lenses. So I have three lens from Moment. They, and I also did get, the, the problem with, with when these new phones come out is it takes these manufacturers a, quite a while to, to get these cases put out. And I don't know if that's because what they're trying to do is I get exactly this right distance and the right, you have it centered just perfectly. I would assume that that's going to be the main issue. So I bought this little adapter here that's supposed to be a universal adapter. And the way this works is you just slide it over your phone. And then uh, it's got a little, little section here that clamps down. It's got a little clamp that clamps down. You just rotate this. And it just basically is a, is a friction mount. This, do, this doesn't really work very good. It's, it works, but it will very easily kind of get just a slight bit off center. And if it does get off center, then when you do apply or put the lens on there and you go back and forth, that EIS will kind of show the edges because it's, it's kind of moving around. So all of these moment lens do fit just fine. Basically going to take it. It's just your standard M mount. And then you're going to Put it on, turn it, and it is a nice secure fit. I mean, I can actually, so I can sit here and I can hold this. It will turn a little bit further, so it will go a little sideways, but all you do is just, it's got enough friction, it's tight enough to where it's not gonna go anywhere, and you just put it right there, and this is the anamorphic lens. Also on these anamorphic lens, uh, you can change the orientation. So you can, uh, there's a little uh, Allen key on here, and if you, uh, you see it on, on the lens there. You basically undo that Allen key right there on the lens itself. 
and you can turn this into orientation. So if I did want to use this in uh, portrait instead of landscape, I could do that. I also have the Moment uh, 18, 18 mil. I keep saying 16, but it's an 18 mil. And it also fits just fine. And we'll go ahead and turn this on. Take this screen off, or the screen protector, or the lens cap off. And we'll go ahead and record a little bit here. And I'll put that recording up here, but, but it does just fine. And this actually gives you a very wide angle uh, this 18 mil compared to the the standard lens uh, there's the standard and you put that 18 mil on there it really kind of gives you a, a great perspective especially if you want to vlog with this you really kind of need to use the 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 regular wide the, the main sensor on here it's it's the widest there is and in terms of aperture and also in terms of light gathering it's the biggest sensor on the phone so this is really going to be uh, kind of the best case solution. So this is why you want this wide angle adapter lens or this wide angle lens. And then here's a tele lens right here. We'll put it on. And so the tele lens, and I'll, I'll uh, film the camera here. So there's the tele lens. And I've got these bright lights in here and you get a little bit of lens flare on these, uh, on these lens, but it's not as bad as you know, I'm looking right into this bright light here, and it's not as bad as if you're just using the lens itself uh, without this lens on there. One of the nice things, so the, the iPhone has, it's, it's got great uh, filming capability, but it's a little, uh, just a hair sharp for, for what I like. And one of the nice things, uh, one of the benefits of using these Moment lenses is it takes a little bit of that sharpness off, sharpness off just enough to where uh, it, it, it it's, looks a lot better in my opinion. Uh, I'll go ahead and throw this anamorphic lens on here and let you see the lens flare from the anamorphic lens. Let's go ahead and uh, start recording. And so you'll be able to see that, that lens flare from the anamorphic lens. You can also use the anamorphic lens on the tele as well. Now one thing about the, the tele, and you're, you're seeing it right here, is if there's not enough light, it will switch over to the main lens, the, the wide lens, and it will do a, a crop, a digital crop basically. So the only way you can kind of get around that is if you go and use the either the Moment app or if you use the Filmic Pro app. I prefer the Filmic Pro app uh, you do have to pay for that and in, there's a little bit of a learning curve on that. You have to know kind of what you're doing and, and when it comes to using that app. Uh, it's simple to learn and, and, I, and I encourage everyone to, to, to learn the basics of that. The Moment app is a lot easier. So on the Moment app you can select, I'm not going to record my screen, there's plenty of videos out there about it, but you can select what specific lens you're using and so I'm going to tell it that I'm using anamorphic lens and then I'm going to tell it specifically which camera I'm using. I'm going to say that I'm using the uh, telephoto and what it'll do is it'll record everything that you need it to just using the tele lens regardless of how much light it's gathering and whether it doesn't force like the, the native camera app will, will force the regular wide lens to take over and just do a digital crop this will just keep it and Filmic Pro does the same thing on the lens uh, that you select and so it makes it easier to use in lower light situations, especially when you're using a lens on the, the tele. The next thing I have for a moment is their filter adapter. And this comes with two attachments. It's got one that is circular and one that is square for the anamorphic. And what you do is you take it and you put it, and I've already got one inside here right now, but you take it and you, you put it inside here. And then it fits right over the lens just like that and now this is a 67 so you can take a 67 ND filter this is a variable ND filter and now you have a variable ND, ND filter that you can easily use if you don't want to use a lens and you just want an ND filter they also make 
just a filter mount right here and you just clip that on now this is a 37 mil so I have a 37 to 67 step up ring and then I can take this 67 mil and put it directly on the iPhone lens itself. Now they do make one that clips on and covers the entire thing but they've been back ordered forever and this right here works just as fine for me because I'm not going to be using multiple lenses I'm going to be using just mainly the the wide lens only. And if you look right here you can see where I can uh, turn it now, I do have the X pattern there because this is a cheap one. So what is the main benefit to this system right here? Well, uh, it's, it's basically because I have this in my pocket. Now, I wear these 511 dart pants, and they have an actual phone pocket right here. And this is fairly big. I mean, this is, not, this is an iPhone 13 Pro Max. In this case, you know, sticks out probably, I don't know, a quarter of an inch or so. But it will still fit completely in my pocket right there. And you can't even, I mean, you can, it sticks out just a little bit. And I can even, if I wanted to, I could throw this sucker on. And I could put it right there in that pocket. So I'm walking, I'm walking. <laughs> and I'm taking my video, photo, whatever. So is it going to replace my Pocket 2? No, it's not going to replace my Pocket 2. Is it going to replace my a7 III? No, it's not going to replace my a7 III. Is it going to replace my GoPro? No, it's not going to replace my GoPro. But it gives me an option. It gives me a really good option. This is a really awesome camera. And if I want to run very minimalistic, let's say I'm going to go out <clears throat> on a hike. I want to capture it. And so I don't want to take a whole bunch of equipment and maybe it's going to be raining. So I don't want to take the Pocket 2 or maybe in it or it's going to be rough. And I don't want to take the Pocket 2 because this gimbal, you can damage the gimbal. Or if it's going to be raining and I'm going to be in a canopy, I'm here in Hawaii and it's going to be pretty dark. Well, if the EIS doesn't work really good on these GoPros uh, if, if it's really low light. So this right here works really good. So if I want to take something very minimalistic, I can just take my phone and something like the DJI Mini 2, which is actually smaller than my phone. And uh, the controller is, is bigger than my phone. But you know, this right here is all you need to go out, you know, I'm here in Hawaii, you want to go out on a day hike in Hawaii, you want to film it and capture it, you know, you have everything you need. You have really good footage on your iPhone, it even does uh, ProRes HQ or LT or Proxy if you're using the Filmic Pro app. But if you're just out for a, for a day hike and you want to capture it and do a quick YouTube video out of it, uh, just the, the H265 along with the little Mini 2 right here is all you need to make a really awesome and epic video that will do great on YouTube. So now let's take this system out and do exactly that. Let's go maybe on a hike and capture a hike using just this right here and we'll take the Mini 2 out and see if we can create an epic video just using our, our smartphone and uh, the, the cheapest, most reliable drone in my opinion on the market. So if you made it this far in the video, I appreciate you watching. This is in the cinematic mode, which I don't think is supposed to work on these moment lenses. I do have the 18 mil on right now, but we'll go ahead and pick up uh, the adventure filming on the iPhone with the moment lens and the DJI Mini 2 in the next video. So I appreciate you watching again. Remember to get outside and explore your surroundings.